I'm speaking with a wildlife and fishery agent who rescued a man whose vessel took on water and then later sank at Vermilion Bay last week. I'm Penelope Lopez, your Vermilion Parish reporter, and Corporal Derek Logan shared with me his firsthand account on this life-saving rescue. I observed Mr. Broussard holding on to an ice chest and a 12-gallon gasoline tank, trying to keep his head above water. Last week, Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries rescued 56-year-old Mr. Broussard in Vermilion Bay after his boat sank, leaving him with no choice but to cling onto his cooler and a fuel tank from his 16-foot vessel. According to Corporal Derek Logan, who was on shrimping parole in the area, the winds reached 20 to 25 miles per hour. Around the same time as the rescue mission, Corporal Logan received another call about a second vessel carrying three people that sank. Corporal Logan rescued Broussard and a commercial shrimper rescued the other three people. During boating safety week, Corporal Logan would like to remind everyone to have a float plan before heading out on the water. Always have a float plan. Let someone know where you are, what game you're targeting, if you're just going boat riding, have enough personal flotation devices for everyone on board, and make sure the captain and everyone in their crew pays attention to the weather. Darkening skies and shifting winds is a telltale sign bad weather is approaching. Remember to call 911 if you're faced with an emergency. For life-saving tips, you can head on over to KTC.com. I'm Penelope Lopez, your Vermilion Parish reporter.